Okay, so here I am on my Norn Warrior. I'm doing a little bit of level 80 PvP. The uh, cool thing about this game is that when you want to play PvP, it'll upscale you to the max level, and then you'll have a uh, set of gear that you can use that's equivalent to everybody else's. And the other cool thing is when you want to queue for PvP, oh, it looks like this guy here. When you queue, you'll join one instantly if you go into the Play Now section. So there's no queue times, really, and you just get right into the game. And the only bad thing about this is that when you join, sometimes your teams might be imbalanced. But the game will balance it before the match actually begins. So you just have to wait another, like, 15 seconds or whatever. So here I am fighting in what looks like another warrior, and it's pretty even. I mean... In terms of PvP, this game, in my opinion, or at least right now, is pretty balanced. I mean, I haven't seen anyone come and gank me, like, two or three shot me at all. So that's a good thing. But another thing is it's really hard to kill someone. And then when you get him down, you have to finish him. Like that guy just did, and I didn't. So here I'm going to jump on this guy. Oh, he's down too. So i got to finish him too. I'm not sure if I really like the finisher. Well, I mean, I it's it's okay in a sense that uh, someone can revive you, but um, it's kind of annoying when you're trying to kill someone, and even if you're ranged and you're trying to kill someone and you kill them, and you have to run up to their body and do it while other people around you could be in a team fight still. So I don't know. I like it, but I don't. <laughs> Let's just go with that. See, this guy just hopped up, and now I have to finish him again while he sits there and throws rocks at me. So this gameplay, or this PvP, is objective-based, as in you have to go and capture points, and then you periodically get points for each objective you have captured. So it's kind of like a Wrathy Basin, in a sense like in World of Warcraft, but there's only three points. And there's also these buffs on the map. Well, they're not buffs, they're kind of PvE mobs that you kill and they grant a buff, kind of like in Le League of Legends with like the red buff and blue buff and whatnot. So that's kind of cool, but it's kind of hard to do alone, so you're always going to need someone to help you, and not everyone's that willing. But if you had a pretty organized team, it would be a nice thing to have. So here I'm jumping on this char here. He's just throwing out all these like fire things, and now he's knocked down, so we're going to finish him. I guess you can DPS them while you're down, but after a certain point, you get a um, kind of like a self-res where you just hop back up. So the best way to kill someone is finishing them when you knock them down. So now our team is going to attack this objective. And we have a pretty good amount of people here, but I think they just, yes, they just took our henge. So now we're going to have to go and take that back after we get this. So another cool thing that warriors have, or I think all classes get it at level 10, I think, but there's a weapon swap. So I have a weapon set of two axes here that I get certain abilities, like a double cleave attack and just a regular like hack and slash and then I have this kind of blade storm move oh it looks like we just won another cool thing about this uh, PvP mode is that when you finish a match uh oh this guy just vanished on me but when you finish a match oh man this guy's tricky When you finish a match in PvP, um, you'll automatically be placed in a queue for another match. So you don't have to leave and then join again later. Like other games. So you pretty much stay in action most of the time you're playing this game. And this guy is being a real pain. 
So, looks like some of my teammates showed up to help me because I'm not that great at a warrior. And we owned them. And then after you leave combat, um, you'll see my health recharge. Yeah, there it goes like that. Because there's no real dedicated healer, so you can't have someone just healing constantly the whole game. And there's no real food to eat. So, when you're out of combat, then you just recharge. And that, I think, is really required for this PvP because it's so fast paced and you always run into people. And if you're running into people with not very much health, then it's not going to be too fun. So, here does he may come up to take this collect tower point. And he's not wearing any gear. I'm not sure why. He's throwing some stuff around. I don't know what he's doing here. I haven't played a uh, ranger class. I'll have to get around to doing that. But also on this map, there's supposed to be a trebuchet. Yeah, there it is right there. Looks like we have it, but I don't know if anyone's using it. But you use the trebuchet to actually destroy the clock tower point. So if you shoot it at the point, then it'll break down the walls and the windows and whatnot, and then you'll be able to get in. So, that's a neat little thing. I guess I'll, I'll check that out later in this match. Right now, I am chasing down this guy, and he runs really fast. I don't know why. Okay, so I finally get to him with a naked guy, and it looks like my other teammate took him down. So, I guess I'll just finish him. And it looks like you get the kill for knocking down someone and not actually finishing them. So, that's a cool little thing, so uh, people won't steal your kills if you're a ranged class. Like this naked guy right here. So I'm going up to this trebuchet here. I'm not sure if we really need it, but I'm going to try it anyways. It looks like, oh. So I have to use the buttons to control it. Let's see what happens when I shoot it at the clock tower. Okay. So now I've just opened it up so people can come up through the roof on this on the path and try to capture it because we don't own it anymore. Oh someone's yelling my leg. That's not so good. Alright, and here is a Forest of Nithal match. I don't know how to say that, Nithal or Nithal. I have no idea. Anyways this one is the same one as I played the first time the first game that's in this video. So, it should look pretty familiar to you guys. I mean, you got the henge, the keep, and the mine. And this is a new game. I believe the one that I joined the first time was not new. I just joined a team. So, now we're on even ground here. And, we're ready to just take the map by storm. So, here's one of the areas I've been talking about where uh, an ad spawns here and then you and your teammates kill it to get a buff I guess he doesn't spawn early in the game I guess that's good so you don't run around with a buff out DPSing the other team so I'm gonna come up to the keep oh it says you can't you couldn't keep the keep that's funny I guess so there's already battle going on here so I'm gonna hop in just range this guy down. Now for the warriors at least, um, the ranged moves with your rifle aren't that exciting. I mean you have basically an auto shot. You have a channel shot that deals I guess more damage. And then you have a crippling shot and then you have your knockback. Oh, and you have a brutal shot, which makes him vulnerable. So, it's not that exciting, but it still is good, nevertheless. I mean, I prefer to get up in close with the axes. But, you know, whatever you prefer. The longbow does have different moves. It's got fire arrows and these fire AoE things that are pretty nifty. But, um,. I do not have a longbow. Oh, see, there was the knockdown right there. Where you throw like a large rock and it knocks you down and interrupts. It's kind of annoying. 
So let's see if I have another weapon in my inventory. And it looks like I don't. I just have a bunch of scraps and... Uh-oh, this guy wants to mess. Let's see if I can hop up there. Nope. So this guy is slowly whittling me down, but I am too. So here's the channeled shot. Oh, it actually shoots faster too. So it'll do more damage than your just auto shot. And it looks like I'm driving this guy back. I think. I'm not sure. It looks like I'm beating him in health. We'll see what happens. I don't know what he's doing to me. He's doing crazy stuff. I don't. I don't even know. All I know is that I just shoot with gun, swing axe. I'm a warrior. That's what we do. Okay. So I fought him off. I think he's probably gonna sit there and recharge and come back at me. So I'm just gonna go. Oh, there's a somebody that can stealth here. Must be. Oh, I just got ganked by two thieves. It looks like. That was not too good. Okay, so I have respawned and I am going to head towards mine now. Oh, I guess not. Because there's people. Whoa. The group here. I'm going to go for the squishy looking guy. Let's see if I can kill him. Oh, I got knocked back. That's not so cool. Now, utility spells are pretty cool in this game. You have, of course, your heal. But then you also have a bunch of different spells you can pick from for your other utilities. So for example, here I have a kick which knocks people back. And it's just it's a kick. That's all it is. But another one oh I've got a door rock and oh they got me. Anyways, there's other utility spells you can use. Like I have a kick, I'm not sure I ha why I have that. So I'm going to go with banner. With a banner. You have a couple different banners. There's some that give you attack, strength, and other ones that give you defense or toughness, vitality, stuff like that. And then I have a fear, which is an AoE fear, like the warrior in World of Warcraft. But this one only lasts a second. And then I have a bola, which I just throw a bola and then it snares him, which is great. If there's someone trying to kite me, I can just use my bola. And then you have your elite skill at the end here. I have this rampage that I use that I turn into like a different form and I get new abilities. Like here I'll use it right now. And these are I have a stomp and like a knockback. This is the high damaging move. This is where I do all my DPS. It's right here. I have a smash on the ground that does an AoE this guy's stealthing is kind of annoying, but I feel like he knows what he's doing, and I'm not really sure. I'm kind of still spamming here. Um, there he is again. So, I don't know if he's just a higher level me in-game and he has more experience, but I can't seem to hit him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he got me. Maybe rogues are just good against warriors in this game, too. Which kind of sucks. Oh, it looks like he's just trying to DPS me down. Or he's just going to stand there. I don't know what... So now I have my rest ability, because he waited too long. So, I'm going to throw my banner down. And fear him. Oh, my banner had to throw down. Okay. So here's my banner. That's what it looks like. Oh, he just got me again. So you can't be really knocked down multiple times in PvP. I think the second time is the time you just die. Now in PvE, you get a couple times, but it slowly digresses until you just die. But, um, I guess you can't res more than one time in PvP because that would just be ridiculous, having an endless fight. So here, Chiefman Utahain has spawned, and he gives a buff. It says right here, Worth 50 score, and it gives an aura power for 30 seconds. So I'm going to see if I can 
beat him up and get this buff. But he does a lot of damage. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Oh, our teammates just showed up to help. So maybe he'll be able to kill it, but I'll get knocked down. Yeah. Let's see if we can finish him while I'm in my bottom form. If you're in your fallen form, um, if you kill someone while you're in it, then you'll rally and then hop back up. Other team looks like they tried to steal it, but we got it because there's that little orb flying above me. And that was the buff that the boss gave. So, another one of my teammates showed up, and he's a guardian, so it looks like we'll be in pretty good shape here. However, oh, other teammate. Looks like he died. All I can really do is, here's the force spell. It's a channel that, like, heals you. Oh, someone finished me off. That's not cool. I think red team won again. So, this is a little taste of the PvP. I'm going to make more videos of the PvE and starting zones of maybe, I don't know. I'll make starting zone videos and more PvP videos. So, thanks for watching. This is Zero Jagano.